La sustracción la hacían con autotanques. Conectan su manguera, descargan el tanque y cargan a su autotanque. Y de aquí pues ya se lo robaban. From intimidating Pemex workers to hijacking the pipelines, the Mexican drug cartels are undermining the government's control over the oil industry. We wanted to talk to one of the men responsible for the sabotage, someone who could give us insight into the Zetas operations. After months of searching, we finally arranged a meeting with a Zeta soldier who agreed to talk to us under the conditions that we hide his face and distort his voice. De ahí después hubo un amigo que me invitó a trabajar ahí con él y ahí empezó a explicarme lo que pagaba, cuánto pagaba, este, empecé a comparar las cosas, andar de delincuente, andar, bueno, andar con la delincuencia o andar con robando la pena. Y este, se me hizo más seguro este, guardar dinero del, donde estaban los ductos de pena. Si sacas, si metemos. Pifas de 10 mil, se sacan este, 60 mil pesos, si sacamos dos son 120 mil. Para hacer un, una perforación dura de, de 20 minutos hasta 40 minutos. En el sur se, se inició más que nada la leña de, de combustible, de ahí se vino desatando según, según los, cada estado, se vino desatando eh, hacia el norte. Este, ahorita ya casi es a todo, a todo nivel, nivel nacional, es donde están sacando esa leña de combustible. En todos lados, ya ahorita ya creció esto. Ya sí pueden ahorrar a uno, pero ya siempre queda otro, siempre sabe otro más que uno. We were on our way to the heart of the Burgos Basin. But before we could visit the natural gas and oil fields, we were instructed we had to shave our beards as a safety precaution or we couldn't go. This meeting that's happening right now, this is something that happens every single day. It's like the daily security briefing. These are the different stations we're going to go to. And if the army can't join them, they don't go. So that's a sign of how bad things are, that they need to do it every day, and they have to go with the army. We're flying around right now uh, in the Pemex helicopter because the roads are so bad that they've said we can't drive from station to station to see the different places where they've had issues. From the air, you can clearly see the network of pipelines carved into the landscape, stretching approximately 17,000 miles across the country. Each one of those lines is a potential target for the cartels. We're driving through the Burgos Basin right now, and we got army guys all around us. We are out on patrol with Pemex. The cartels aren't always tapping into pipelines to get these natural resources. Sometimes they simply drive their tanker trucks right into the Pemex facilities like this one and fill up. Just weeks before, these massive barrels were completely drained of liquid gas. La sustracción la hacían con autotanques. Conectan su manguera, descargan el tanque y cargan a su autotanque. Y de aquí, pues ya se lo robaban. These thefts got so bad that in 2010, Pemex shut down stations and halted routine maintenance in this area. With the help of the military, production is just now resuming. The cartels probably had an epiphany that this is a lot easier for us to drive in and just take the oil and sell it on the black market than it is to like bring in cocaine from Colombia and sell it. While the stolen oil is nearly impossible to track, it's widely suspected that a portion of it is making its way back to the United States. In 2007, a binational investigation showed that large amounts of Pemex oil were being smuggled into Texas. Executives and oil brokers at five Texas-based companies were sentenced in connection to the stolen oil. The 
este, aquí puedes invertirle, pasar un pozo lo inviertes 200, este, 300 mil, o sea, comprando un trailer, comprando pipa, comprando material, y eso lo sacas en un día o en dos días. Estamos en un área segura, necesitamos movernos. Lo que sucede aquí es que es un área donde transita eh, la delincuencia y lo que sucede es que hay intimidación, hay robos al personal de Pemex. Y en right. casos críticos, a veces, eh, cuando se topan dos carteles diferentes, ocurre enfrentamiento entre ellos. Y bueno, lo que se procura aquí es que el área esté limpia de, esa, de ese personal para que nosotros podamos operar, para no quedar en medio de una balacera, un confrontamiento entre ellos. So we are in a very, very hot area right now. We're being forced to move very quickly from one spot to the next. We haven't been here for more than five minutes, and this is time to keep moving. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. como todo aquí, aquí en México, ¿verdad? aquí este, pueden también este, tener dinero los, lo que son las palomas, las palomas son, vienen siendo los de los que trabajan para Pemex, Trata, se contacta, este, se llega a un acuerdo, de, ya sea una pipa que les demos a la semana o ya sea un por ciento de cada pipa que saquemos. In the past decade, more than 97 Pemex workers and seven contractors have been linked to fuel theft. And while it's true that stealing oil is less risky for the Zeta soldiers than running drugs, what we saw next showed us how this illegal business is having a much larger and deadly impact on the Mexican people. I tell my children, because who knows what's happening in the street. I tell them, and we leave. Y todo empezó a tronar, ya no había luz, todo empezó a tronar, tanques, camionetas. Pero sí, ahí perdí a mis niños y a mi hija. 